Today we're taking a look at C-peptide. We're going to cover what C-peptide is and how it can be used in the clinical practice. C-peptide is a protein that is produced by the pancreas and it gives us an idea of the insulin levels in the body. Once the C-peptide is secreted from the pancreas, it is circulating inside of our bloodstreams. In this video we will cover how the C-peptide levels differentiate between a, a healthy pancreas and a diseased one. Now, as you probably already know, the pancreas secretes insulin into the bloodstream, but it also secretes something called C-peptide. Let's take a closer look at what C-peptide actually is and how it's related to insulin. Now, when insulin is being produced, the C-peptide is actually a part of the pre-processed insulin protein. But during the processing phase inside of the pancreas, it is cleaved from the main protein and secreted on its own, kind of like a waste product. So for every blue insulin molecule that is being secreted, there's also one orange C-peptide that's being secreted. And therefore, when the insulin levels rise or decrease, the C-peptide levels does the same. So by tracking the C-peptide levels, we're basically tracking the insulin levels. And because C-peptide is broken down at a much lower rate than insulin, it is much easier to track from a practical standpoint. And now we're going to take a look at how the C-peptide levels are affected by type 1 and type 2 diabetes. We're going to start with type 1. As you probably already know, during type 1 diabetes, there's a B-cell atrophy, meaning that the cells die. And as a result, we get less insulin production. And then, obviously, we also get less C-peptide production. But this is only true in a well-established type 1 diabetes. Because when someone is first developing type 1 diabetes, the beta cells are slowly degenerating. And in the beginning, the few beta cells that are still alive can kind of work in overdrive to compensate for the rest of the beta cells that are, that are not working anymore. But after a while, the beta cells get exhausted and they produce less and less insulin and C-peptide. And because of this mechanism, C-peptide is not really that good in the diagnosis phase of the disease. Because of, of the fact that the C-peptide levels can be elevated while we still have a beta cell destruction. And in type 2 diabetes, a C-peptide cannot really be used for much. Because here we have a normal level of C-peptide and insulin. And the problem is, is insulin resistance instead. So to summarize, we can say that C-peptide can be used to track the insulin levels in an already established type 1 diabetes. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe.